Hey! <laughs> Beer review time. That was the first word I spoke out loud today. Recording this live uh, February 26th. I am now a 42-year-old man. <laughs> with, with an expense account. <laughs> Who fucking saw that one coming? Beer review time! Let's fucking go! Everything is coracle! I'd show you my toes, but I don't have any pants on. Shout out to PJD. Shout out to Rod Quinton at Coracle. Damian Kilroy. Tyler Maurice Coy. Hui and Ryan. Love all you guys. See you at the beach. Uh, what are we doing? We're doing a beer review. So a few of my favorite things to say... Um, or you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. It is 15 minutes past noon, so I missed that. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you I've been drinking. I have not. I have been guzzling water. Had a great time last night. Thanks to everyone who came out. Uh, not feeling too bad today. It could <laughs> could have been a lot worse. <laughs> feeling pretty good. Thanks to everyone who gave gifts. Anything showed up, bought a drink, had fun at dinner. Thank you all. Love you all. Thanks also for watching if you're watching. And there's only one way you can hear what I'm saying right now is if you're watching the video. That's the only way. I can't imagine another way where you would hear this unless you're watching. So thank you for watching if you're watching. And you must be watching or else you wouldn't be able to hear me. What are we reviewing today? I had a few thoughts. Um, Dave Tinnen. My brother in crime got me a bottle of Roku gin for my birthday yesterday. I was thinking about doing that, maybe. Uh, but, it, you know, it's a beer review show, not a, not a gin review show. Still have some of those non-alcoholic canned cocktails in the fridge uh, that Rod gifted me from Cargo. Um, I did one review of those. One of those. And then I did a second one that I didn't want to air because it was I was so depressed. I was hungover as shit. And I recorded this really depressing non-alcoholic canned cocktail review. I think I sent it to Rod. Not to share it with anyone else. <laughs> if, if you ever see that one, and you'll probably know when you see it, that means the show's over. We're done. As for now, we do one beer a day until we do them all, so let's do a beer. Which beer are we doing? That's the other thing I really like to say. Double IPA all day. Double Jasmine IPA. Have I reviewed the Double Jasmine IPA before? Maybe. Fucking check the archives. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a math wizard. I don't know. I hope we can use that for the thumbnail. They give me three options for the thumbnail every day. If I upgrade to premium, I can do a custom thumbnail, but I don't want to do that. Usually one of the three are pretty good options. See if we can get a thumbnail out of that. Double Jasmine IPA, 8.5% alcohol by volume, 100 IBUs. A bigger, bolder, brasher take on our flagship Jasmine IPA. Brewed with jasmine flowers from Sapa for an amazing floral aroma. But the flavor of this beer is all about those hops. This is a serious beer. If you're feeling adventurous, try drinking Double Jasmine IPA all day. Whoever wrote that is a genius. I wrote that, in case you didn't get the joke. We do one sip, we give a score zero to ten, we try one beer a day, until we try them all. This is my birthday present to myself, it's a double Jasmine IPA review. I think I'm ready for... Whew. I think I'm ready for my first sip of alcohol today. Hey, hair of the dog that bit you. It smells great. Have you guys tried this beer? One sip, everybody knows the rules. It's a really good beer. Uh, pretty fresh. Pretty fresh, not the freshest can I've ever had, but pretty fresh. And it tastes fresh, is more importantly. Woo! Let's fucking go!
to 9.9. That's a review.